ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई वेलकम्स टू ऑल इन योर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मैकेनिक्स दैट इज योर कोर पेपर टू एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग यूनिट फोर द टॉपिक इज ऑक्सीलेशन दिस इज योर लेक्चर नंबर इलेवेन लेक्चर नंबर इलेवेन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रिलैक्सेशन टाइम दैट इज टाउ In our previous lecture, lecture number ten, we have been discussed about your power dissipation. That means how much energy is going to be or power is going to be uh, dissipated when a oscillator is going to oscillate. In one second or per second, and we found. that the value is <coughs> the power dissipation is is equal to minus d e by dt that is 2 b into e equation number 7 so what is b what is e uh, the all the things in detail we have been discussed in our last video or last lecture i suggest to all of you that you go through that video and also i suggest to all of you that you just go through the previous to previous videos Uh, and write down the notes regarding this unit so let's start the relaxation time it is defined as the time in which the total mechanical energy becomes 1 by e of its original value so if we are going to consider the equation number 6 just before then we found that equation number 6 tells us that the instantaneous energy at a particular time but when t is equal to 0 the maximum energy is e0 that is 1 by e m a square beta square that is the so called average average maximum energy that is average kinetic energy plus average potential energy so i suggest again and again that you just go for this video last video that how this value came and how this value came so you clearly you can understand these uh, terms how we got with the derivation so we found the maximum energy is this much and instantaneous energy can be written in this form that is equation number 6 so equation number 6 represents the instantaneous energy of a damped harmonic oscillator so here i written the instantaneous energy is this much okay the maximum energy will be how much maximum energy is e0 that means if we are going to take e t equal to 0 then e0 this is your maximum energy half m a square beta square so now as per the definition the relaxation time is the time in which the total mechanical energy reduced to 1 by e th of original value okay the maximum is how much e0 so if this t we are going to be consider the tau the so called relaxation time then the energy this energy will be e0 by e okay so we have to just put this one that e0 into e to the minus 2 b tau equal to e0 by e then this is e0 e0 here got cancel so this is 1 by e or e to the minus 1 so here e to the minus 1 equal to e to the power minus b tau so hence tau equal to 1 by b let it is equation number 8 now from equation number 7 if we are going to consider equation number 7 that is your power dissipation per second that is your 2b into e this power dissipation also can be written in this form that is uh, from equation number 7 we can get p equal to 2b e here 2b will be equal to 1 by tau tau equal to 1 by 2b to b will be move here tau will be move here so to b will be 1 by tau you just put over here here 
then we can get e by tau let it is equation number 9 so these are the two expressions you can remember or you have to remember for your exam purposes now come to the quality factor quality factor is also a physical parameter which measures the damping or the rate of energy loss of the system and as per the definition it can be defined as the damping factor q is defined as 2 pi times the ratio of energy stored in the system to the energy lost per time okay so here in our last class we found energy lost per second is how much p equal to 2 be so energy lost for a period the period is time period is how much t so for second lost is this much p so per in lost per one period in one period one period it will be p into t okay so it is 2 pi times ratio of energy stored so what is the energy stored we can consider the total energy that is e okay so it will be 2 pi into energy stored e divided by energy loss per period loss per second is p per period means in period t how much it will be p into t so 2 pi into e by p into t so here we got p equal to e by tau we can just put this p uh, e, e, e by tau p equal to e by tau over here instead of p we can if we are going to put e by tau then we can found 2 pi e by e by tau into t is equal to 2 pi by t into tau 2 pi by t is nothing but is your omega that is your omega so quality factor q equal to omega into tau okay but we know from the beginning itself omega is equal to k by m root over you just check your note at the beginning we consider that omega square equal to k by m here you can found that we have been considered omega square equal to k by m so hence omega will be how much omega will be k by m root over so q usual k by m root over into tau, tau. so this is the expressions this one this one and uh, these two expressions have to remember for your exam point of view so here we have been completed about regarding all the uh, things about your uh, damped harmonic oscillation damped harmonic oscillation of a damped harmonic oscillator so i suggest one second to all of you that you go through this uh, discussions whatever we discussed in few videos around three to four videos we have been discussed this all the contents whatever you just go through it pause the video write down the note perfectly which will be useful the note will be useful for for your exam so thank you so much for watching this video thank you